Okay, so eight minutes. Uh, can I do it all in eight minutes? I don't know. Sorry I haven't been on, but my phone is playing up as usual because I have no storage. So I really need to um, uh, find the time to get rid of all of the shite on my phone. And I'm able to, to get back to doing more meditations and more chats. I hope all is good. Friday today. Thank good. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Um, hope you're all doing good and enjoying the lovely cool weather out there. Um, a very busy week today. Uh, this week was amazing, um, as always. The energy in the collective is unreal at the moment and massive purging going on. So um, I think you probably would have noticed that last week. I have lots of female clients who are purging like a mofo, especially in the experience of... Um, the lunar eclipse that we've had so the lunar eclipse is always any form of eclipse on, on the moon is a, a really good way of releasing and letting go of all the old stagnant energy that has been weighing you down so when you're letting go you're not only letting go of energy that's in your body you're letting go of the emotional energy from the experiences that you've gone through in your life not only in this lifetime but all of the other lifetimes that you've ever lived and we're really doing massive purging at the moment um so many people are doing a clear out of their whole life as in jobs that they don't like people that they don't like family members that um are doing their head in um uh, clearing out of your house that's always um something that we do when we're in the midst of uh, the clear out of the moon energy when it's coming in so we do big clearing big clearing emotionally and in our physical um, experience so that's why you were cleaning like a mofo for the last week that's what it was the energy of the 11 11 portal today is super intense i don't know whether you noticed that i had such a busy day and so many people releasing today as my lights gone off and it is um when you have the uh experience of the 11 11 always also Make sure to do, find on YouTube, I, I, put, I put, put one on my stories there, find one on YouTube, do an 11-11 meditation or just any form of meditation and in the meditation your intention is to release and releasing is um, um, really powerful when the portals are open because you're sort of throwing all of the shite into the portal as such, see it as a metaphoric thing but it is the intention that makes the difference when you say I am ready to let go and I'm ready to let go of all of my um, uh, emotions that I've been holding on to all of my <clears throat> heavy energy that's in my body that is not only my energy but also my family, my generational energy that's really really prevalent at the moment so many people purging especially women purging the um hu the energies of the um of the f the female line in your family the generational energy the woman energy the uterus energy the womb energy and when you are purging that for you with the intention to let go you're also really purging it for your uh female line all the way back as in your mum your mum's mum, your mum's mum's mum, all the way back. And then it stops the energy from causing any grief within you, especially the suppression energy that we've had. Uh, it stops the energy in you. So it stops the hamster wheel of coming um, to the next generation in your family. So it stops with you. So lots of women working on that energy at the moment. And again, remember that you are the master healer, the master healers within us all. We all have the capacity to be able to heal ourselves, look just like Jesus, we all have that master healer within us and when we intentionally use that energy remember when we were healers before in other lifetimes we have all of these light codes within our bodies and while this um, 1111 portal any form of portal is open you ask the universe to open your light codes or turn on your light codes like as if you're flicking on a switch or like as if you're turning the dial back up because how many lifetimes before have you been a healer before and you're just re um activating those light codes within your body put your hands on yourself feel into your body you will not know where the energy is unless you physically breathe into your body when you take the breath into your body you'll feel into your body most times we do the same where we go like, oh god i better not take a breath in because if i take a breath in fully in blowing the belly out like you're yawning bring the energy down to the root chakra that's where the big big energies are and when we have those big energies that are down the root chakra that's where all of this the, the inner child stuff is the traumas the stuff that we suppress and we push down that's really deep in our body the first chakra the base chakra the root chakra is where we hold it all and we need to bring the holy breath the breath of life that visualization of that energy coming into our body with our breath fully in we do this 
short breaths, shallow breaths, when we're anxious, when we have fears and anxieties in our chest, short breaths, right? We need to bring the energy into the body, intentionally bringing it in and down to the root chakra because that's really, really powerful at the moment. And when you bring that energy in, you are saying, I am ready to let that energy go. And with your out breath, your exhale, till there's nothing left. Take it slowly because when you intentionally take it slowly, the energy comes out of your body with the intention of slow, 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 release, 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 instead of going, it's much better when you really tune in to the energy in your body. So, breath work, uh, really powerful at the moment. Do some meditation. If it's mine, um, amazing. If it's not mine, do a meditation tonight if you can. Uh, that, those portals are really powerful and really open. Um, it, and we're doing massive purging. It's like the hump in the road at the moment. It's like we're coming up to this hump and we really need to get rid of the um, energies that is within us now. I, I listened to um, a, a chat about, oh Jesus, two or three weeks ago and I, I was reminded of it again today. I, as you know, I love Dolores Cannon. I've read all her books. I do past life regression therapy, which is happening so fast now in my um, treatments in Reiki. So many people going back in past lives. But she's, she talks about energy and the analogy of uh, the fan. You know, if you have one of those fans, a cool fan that blows cold air when we're in uh, the midst of the summer and it has one, two and three on it. If you can imagine your energy body like a fan that has full of dust and you, when you press number one, the fan starts to spin. And as that fan starts to spin, you can still see the fan spinning and the dust starts to come off it right so imagine that as our energy body that's in 3d uh, the tr third dimensional energy that's what our body is like it's heavy because there's all this dust on it let me press number two and the fan starts to spin that little bit quicker you can still see the fan a little bit but the fan as it starts to spin it starts to let go of more energy and then you go to number three where the fan is spinning at the highest capacity and as it spins really fast, the fan is still spinning behind that. Um, it, when it's spinning, the fan is still spinning, but it's spinning much faster. So you, that energy body is what you want to get it to where the fan is spinning in your, the energy is spinning in your body. So your fifth dimensional energy is, the fifth dimensional energy is that the energy is going to spin all of your chakras really fast like that. And it, it, it as it does that, it knocks out all of the dust all of the heavy energy, all of those trials, all the stuff that we've gone on in this lifetime and all of the other lifetimes we've ever lived. So enjoy the portal that's open tonight. I um, have a Reiki weekend this weekend and thank you, Julie, for my beautiful eyebrows. I feel like I've been punched in the head, but I'll be fabulous tomorrow. Um, enjoy your weekend and namaste.